I got my car back and um, I'm glad I'm relieved that it's back, but I'm terrified to drive because I haven't driven in almost two years now. So for my first time, I'm just gonna go for a little very short trip um, just to just to drive and hopefully it goes well. And then I've got an important appointment that I have to go to I'm very nervous about, but anyway, I'm just gonna take baby steps and lead up to that. So anyway, here I go on my first drive. I made it my first trip it went pretty well it felt natural like I guess it's like muscle memory that you just you just kind of remember um, it all comes back to you because I used to drive so much for work I used to drive for hours a day anyways I just went for a short uh, short trip today uh, just to get me used to driving again so baby steps and then I'll take a longer drive and then I've got my appointment uh, next week so I'm gonna be a nervous wreck for that but anyways trying to prepare Anyways, it's so good to have my car back. And um, yeah, so oh, I know it doesn't sound like much. Just going for a drive in the car is th something that everyone takes for granted. But when you have PTSD and anxiety and you haven't driven in almost two years and you don't even leave your house, like it was scary. So anyway, I had my mask on even in the car because, um, you know, I've cleaned out the car with Lysol and everything. Um, because I didn't have it for six months and you know the guys were working on it and whatever they I needed new brakes and uh, battery and anyways I just I just feel better to let it air out a while and um, Michelle wants we, me to wear a mask every time I drive anyway but anyway we'll see uh, on a really hot day it would be quite hard although I have air conditioning but but anyway I got through today so I'm so relieved hi so yeah, I finally got my car back. So months ago, I did a video, Total Recall, because my car was recalled. So yeah, the car was recalled for fire safety risk and I was a basket case because I wasn't even driving. The car was in my garage and hadn't been driven in months, if not a year. And then um, I heard that it was a fire safety risk, even if it was parked and turned off. So I freaked out anyway, had it towed to the dealership and then I didn't hear from them all this time. And I just kept checking my VIN online because it shows you the recalls on it and it just kept showing remedy not available. So Hyundai didn't even have a fix for it. So anyway, long story short, too late. I finally got a call from Hyundai um, that they can't keep my car on the lot anymore and they said basically it is safe it was just precautionary the recall they checked it, the thing that could cause a fire risk is a leak in brake fluid so they checked and the the brake lines were good and um, there was no leak so they checked everything out so it was fine and I also called the manufacturer I called Hyundai directly and asked them about it and they said yeah it's very minimal risk and that they haven't had any fires since the recall um, so it's a very rare event and anyway they reassured me that it's going to be fine the problem is my car had been sitting so long that it not only needed i knew it would need a new battery but it also needed new front and rear brakes so anyways the guy tried to get me as good a deal as he could so i appreciated that but i was so nervous to get the car back because i hadn't driven now it's been almost two years so i didn't know how i was going to be but i went out just a very short trip you know just to get myself used to driving again and it it just feels natural because I used to drive for work I used to drive for hours at a time I was commuting like back and forth between a few cities and on highways and I did so much driving that now it's like that muscle memory that it just feels it just feels natural but I'm a very cautious driver now like I used to maybe drive faster um, now very cautious keeping my distance I'm just I'm nervous about everything but but yeah at least the driving part I know that's good and then I've got a very important appointment coming up that I'm very nervous about but at least I know I can drive and that's good and um, yeah just baby steps one step at a time um, it's hard to do anything when you have anxiety and I've been home for so long like I haven't gone anywhere so even just driving, it's like going to outer space. It was just bizarre being out. But I cleaned the car completely before I got in it, cleaned with Lysol, um, 
sprayed all the surfaces and cleaned and cleaned it inside and out so it's all shiny new um, and yeah so anyway um, that's it for now just an update I'm so glad to have the car back he's back home um, I still have to get the remedy um, now Hyundai says they do have a remedy available but they need to get the parts and they need to um, send parts to all the dealerships in Canada so that's going to take some time they couldn't give me a timeline but I guess um, I'll be notified when it's ready and um, and then just bring it in and that will be free anyway that repair will be free and there was another recall on it underbody corrosion and they've done that and that was free but yeah so anyways one last thing to worry about there's still a lot of things going on that I'm worried about but for now that's one last thing I've got my car back so anyway take care stay safe thanks for watching